Barnet on Saturday come to uh, your place. How, what have you been telling the players? Because obviously they're stuck at the bottom of League Two. You played another side who, you know, fighting to stay up. Is is it another case of trying to guard against complacency against the side who was struggling? Maybe not life? not complacency. Um, I wouldn't put complacency as a word. I think it's one where in this division every team beats each beats each other. Um, it's proved that with crew with ourselves last week. It proved with Chesterfield and Luton uh, the other week. It's one where it is fine margins. If, if you're looking at clubs down at that bottom of the league, there's some big clubs down at that bottom of, of our league. Uh, big clubs have gone up the division as well. So it's one where we're looking. We're not going to take Barnet lightly. We know Graham's gone in there and tried to show things up in a way and got good results apart from the other night. And we know they've they'll be fighting for the lives, but we're fighting for our lives to try and get in the playoffs. So it's it's one where it should be a little bit of a not so much a battle, but a, a good game. Um, that both teams will want to try and win. And what are you expecting from Barnett? As you say, Graham Wesley's got a couple of wins under his belt since he's uh, joined the club. Obviously well known for having his sides well drilled and hard working. What are you expecting from them this weekend? You've just hit it on the, the nail on the head. Hard working, well drilled, a team that will come and try and win a game of football to get themselves out of their predicaments. Uh, be no different to what we faced last week with Crew and the week after and the week after because Whatever it is in this league, there's teams that have still got things to play for, whether you're at the bottom or whether you're at the top because it's so tight. Um, I think points are precious at this time of the season.